There's literally one card left. I lost. How does this game work? I was just wondering, since we've been texting a bunch, uh, have you heard of a 9th Street station at all? Huh? Huh? <gasps> what? Oh my goodness. Who would have guessed? The game is won, the story ends sweet, but though it seems done, has this all been deceit? What's really going on? Does our tale end right here? The more family you come upon, the more truth will grow clear. What's going on, Flock? We're back in the attic. I can be as loud as I want to be without worrying about disturbing a single soul. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, sheep of all ages, my name is Sound A Sheep. Welcome to the stream. Oh my god. Where? 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 Where am I? I could have sworn last time I checked, I was still at college. I guess I'm back in the attic. Back in the attic, you already know. And oh my goodness, it feels so good to be here. Look, there's Francis. Francis is here. Francis is sitting in the background as always. I'm so excited to show you guys this new overlay. It's not even the final overlay. It's literally just a mock-up, a first draft. Three, two, one. Oh, a delay that was crazy oh, what is that sound of sheep with an overlay no more crusty overlay oh fake overlays now we have an actual overlay and this is only the first draft look at that we're back in it and better than ever let me catch you up to speed in case you haven't seen me play later alligator before later alligator is a point and click mystery adventure game where we are trying to help our poor protagonist pat the alligator we need to go around the city new york alligator new york city and meet his family so we can decipher what exactly is going on we found out that they were just planning a birthday party for him that being said it was implied since we didn't meet all of the family, it's implied that there were some things that are going on behind the scenes that we're not quite aware of. And that's the purpose of the second playthrough. We need to find out what we didn't find out in the first playthrough right now. Let's hit continue. I don't know what this is going to do, though. We're about to find out. Interesting. This is a new dialogue. Hang on. Did you come back for me? I'm curious. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this isn't a new playthrough. It's just letting us pick up where we left off the first time. Let's pick up where we left off. We were in Alligator Memorial Park. Oh, you again, Babyface Constance. We lost the game of Old Maid to you. We need to beat you this time. How do I... Wait, does that mean I just won? Wait, did I just win? No, I just won. I just got lucky and won. I'll get you next time. There we go. We beat her. All right, all right. Don't get too cocky there, kiddo. Oh, look at her face now. I love it. These eyes don't see as well as they used to when I bought them off that plague doctor in the mid to late 18th century. Just how old am I? None of your dang beeswax. I got my own beeswax to worry about, you know, from the back bees. Anyway, the event is tonight and me and my sister Rue are both going to be there. What more do you need to know? Now get the heck away from me and stop staring at my cards before I give you a knuckle sandwich. That's Big Knuckle, which I bought from a great butcher in the back alley behind the Sizzler. It's real good, so I don't want to share. We have until 8 p.m. is when the birthday bash starts. So we need to meet as many of the family as we can before that. Tin Lizzie. Um, hello. Do you mind stepping approximately three to seven steps to the right? You're blocking the sun and the luminous scales. Highlighter I applied is not living up to its customer review section. Oh my god. I've been out here all day with my new phone trying to get the perfect shot, but I just can't seem to look effortless enough. True. This one here, I totally have an expression, which is a super no-no in selfie town. I need to look just the right amount disaffected with just the right amount of lip gloss. This gloss won't pay for itself after all. You know, because I, I pay for it. Me. Like, I buy it. Whomst are you? I'm Lizzie, but I've been trying to get everyone start calling me... Elizabethery. Sally, much like my attempts to be an influencer, it doesn't seem to be happening. What do you know about Pat? Pat? You mean Joni's cousin Pat? Oh my god, Pat is hilarious. Last year, when I spent the holidays with Joni's family, Pat got so punked on eggnog. Wait, really? I assumed that Pat wasn't old enough to drink. He thought the Christmas tree was a hired assassin and ran face first into a Santa-themed nutcracker display to escape. It took us two hours to get all the walnut shells out of his ears and to get him to stop wearing the beard as a disguise. 
He's kind of a paranoid guy. Totally nice, though. Love that bandana. Uh, I don't know, are you here spying for Pat? He's not supposed to know anything about this, you feel me? I didn't even post about it on Snootbook, or Pictogram, or my live journal, or my dead journal. I didn't even write it down in my bullet journal just to be extra safe. Plus, then I save on bullets. Well, wh what else can you tell us then, hmm? Maybe we could offer a, a trade, a trade offer. Well, maybe if you could help me out, I could give you just a little info, though. You know, a little, you stand my account and I stand yours. She wants to follow for follow. See, even though I'm totally a super tech savvy, super popular pictogram user with uh, over seven followers that aren't blood related to me, I still am having some trouble with my new phone. I try to import my photos and they got all dinked up. I can't post dinked photos. True. Will you help me fix my pics? Of course. Assemble the pics to help her get clicks. Unmix the pics. I'll play. Round one, fight. Oh no, oh god, it's one of these. Okay, it's a rotating thing. Boom, boom, uh, it's boom. That kind of made me a little dizzy, I'm not gonna lie. Beach day, the old, whose phone does this with their old photos? The old Penny B, LMAO, I'm screaming. This game was in, made in 2019 and it uses a lingo like it was made in 2021, I love it. Unless people were saying screaming back in 2019 that I never noticed. Oh, that's a lot more. Brick, 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 brick. Wibbly Finn. Oh no, is this our activism phase? Ha ha, eat it, Wibbly Finn. I voted for Bumbledoof. Bumbledoof? At least she had a stance on alligator healthcare reform and not just a platform of more sci fi themed escape rooms. Those are cool, though. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, hang on. Boom. How? No, that's literally not what I click. How? It skips. It skips. It cheats. It's cheating. <laughs> Eliminate. Okay, we gotta go for the dress now, apparently. I gotta predict it. Boom. Right there. Wait, that's a different photo. What? Who is the green? Oh, that is the costume. Oh my god. Purple, purple. Right there. Oh god. It's literally I thought the bow was perfect. Right there. We're doing costumes. We're doing costumes. We're doing costumes. Oh my eyes are spinning. Plate, 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 plate. Oh. Okay, plate. Yes, let's go. Easy. I'm so good at children's games. Uploading and posted. Thank you so much. I think people are really going to like these ones. Especially these cute candidates of Joni. Mm. Family member badge. Oh, geez. How come it's like when I take candidates of my significant gator, they're cute and perfect. But when Joni takes them of me, they're like this. <laughs> That's a good photo. Hashtag relatable relationship. Oh yeah, about the event? Well, like, don't tell Pat, but I totally did the playlist for it. I think he's going to be super surprised. But like, not as surprised as the time he opened the closet and a coat fell on him. He screamed so hard. Wait, what? He screamed so hard that he projectile vomited several liters of cranberry sauce. That's pretty impressive. Thanks again for all your help, stranger. Make sure to like and subscribe. You have a YouTube channel too? I guess, yeah, I guess if you're trying to be an influencer, I understand. I've been trying to talk to this guy for a while. Gentle Ro Lorenzo. Oh my God, this guy looks like a character. Broline, 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 Broline. I'm begging you, dude, please give me a hand. Oh yes, this is gonna be great. 901, 902, 903. Oh, phew. Well, that's the highest number I know, so I guess that's enough. Huh? Oh. Sorry, Brosephine. I didn't see you there, shrouded in total shadow by the monolith of my beefy butt. I love this guy. You're not going to start hitting me like with a bone like the last one, are you? Whomst are you? You're actually huge. If this is actually us looking up at you, this is, you're huge. People call me Lorenzo on account of it being my name. I work downtown at the Brodega Fitness Center in Mini Mart, being inspirational, aspirational, and non-recreational. I'm very serious about my job, Brosan. Ooh, how do you know Pat? Bro. Pat, bro, that's my for real big bro. Oh, are you serious? Well, not big, big. He's kind of mild to medium-sized bro as far as alligator brothers go. He's like the mid-sized sedan of brothers. Me? Well, I'm like the sport utility vehicle of brothers. Assertively large, but a little empty feeling inside. So, Pat's his big brother. Okay, we know that now. Event, you mean tonight? To tell you the truth, brolette, I was sworn to secrecy. On my honor, over a bottle of whey protein and a stack of those muscle magazines I keep hidden under my bed. My strong jaw is strongly closed. Well, maybe we can pry it open. Though, despite my problem-free, GMO-free lifestyle, I am having a muscle tissue issue. A muscle tissue issue. I love that. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. 
a muscle tissue issue I could use some help with. You see, my visceral hugeness and perfect health has been causing a totally terrible rift in the most important relationship in my life. Wait, what? There's sentient birds in this universe as well? That's right, I'm talking about my bird who is my best bro in the entire brawlicsy. See tiny Terrence here? He just can't seem to bulk up. Maybe on account of his name. <laughs> I've tried to help little Terry here beef up so we can roll with my impossibly huge crew, but he just hasn't reached his full bird potential. I can't stand to force my favorite broski to literally and figuratively live in my enormous shadow another day. So what do you say, bro Samina? Can you do me a solid and make him more solid? I would love to make your tiny Terrence friend more solid. Flappy bro. Fortify your bond to get with the squad. I wonder what game this could be inspired by. Oh, I wonder what this is. Is those pills? Okay, avoid the gym equipment. We want to do anything but actually work out. We'll take some more pills. Oh, he's going to beef up. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> that disgusting. Get it out. Get it off my screen. Keep it going. Terrence is into it. You got it, tiny Terrence. Let's go. All right, it's moving a little faster this time. Oh, that's a whole that's a whole barbell. Okay, the good thing is we're not on a Oh man. Okay, get the way. It all, it's all it works out. Salads? Sure, yeah, of course. Oh my god, they come by so quickly. Okay, hang on. Oh, bulk up, buddy. Oh my god, he's actually looking ripped. I'm jealous. Buff bird. Let's go. Get swole. Oh my god. Please get off of the screen. Oop. Okay, we're good. We're good. I'm disturbed. Salads, whey protein, and hamburgers. And you can be this ripped. I'm flexing my eye sockets as hard as I can to keep the tears from flowing, but it's only barely working. I guess maybe what really needs to bulk up is my ability to deal with positive emotions. About the event tonight, all doesn't have a way in, I can tell you that. Don't worry though, I'm bringing my own scale and have only been eating protein bars and dehydrated iceberg lettuce in prep. I gotta look my best for my little bro. Thanks again for helping out me and Terry here, bro Olivia. Love to see it. Hey, it's me, Pat. The alligator, the one with the hat. Hello, Pat. It's almost 10, can you come back? Someone came over to my table and threatened me. Well, uh, they gave me a coupon and told me to have a nice day. But that could mean anything, anything. Nib. Here's a coupon I got last week. If you come back, I'll give it to you. No questions asked. Return to Pat at the hotel. It, what happened the first time I came back? I think I'm going to say that I'm busy this time. Busy? But... Pat. <laughs> it just spent two hours for me. So as opposed to being forced to go back and deal with Pat's nonsense, as we did during the first playthrough, we just said, I'm good, and spent two hours. But let's talk to Mandel and Mandy first. This guy's like the mascot for the game. Put a coin into my hat. The song I play is sweet. And if you don't agree with that, I do not give receipts. Dang, that's all you're going to say, Mandy? All right, let's go to the... Oh, this one's going to be good. Two-ton Tony. Hey, kiddo. How you doing today? Oh, look at his eyes. He's so enthusiastic. And dad. Me? Any day above the ground, right? <laughs> Just a little mortality joke for you, since I can only relate to my subconscious fears through deflection. Hi, Deflection. I'm Dad. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing, that I'm doing it. Some days, though, are better than others, and today's one of the better days. You see this big guy right here? This sweet piece of metal is the Grill Maestro 300X, the undisputed king of the finest grilling technology man has ever known. Yep, can't wait to fire this baby up and do some proper frying. Uh, now all I gotta do is figure out how to start it, and cook with it, and hopefully stop it before the rising flames consume us all. This guy's got some existential dread. My stu- oh, he's a teacher too. You love to see it. I'm sure you're a great teacher. My students call me Mr. Mom Jeans behind my back, but you can call me Tony. Tell you the truth though, you can call me whatever you want. As long as you don't call me late for dinner. Uh, of course I know Pat. That's one of my boys. The smaller one of them. That wears a hat. He's a good kid, but a little skittish. Bit of a hair trigger on him. Between you and me, I think that bun could have used a little more time in the oven. <laughs> I convey affection through heartless critique. I learned it from my father. Hi, my father. I'm dad. <laughs> what about the event? The event, huh? Not sure how much I can tell you about that. 
Unless you're talking about my wife stopping her yammer and now there's an event I'd like to see. <laughs> well, actually, I love her very much and deeply appreciate the mutual respect and affection that is present between us. Sorry. I only know how to communicate in relationships through dated humor that stems from the sexism present in sitcoms. This is too real. Uh, anywho, you seem like a gator that knows their way around a grill. Let's say, hypothetically, that I need a little help getting this beauty of a machine going. I know my lips get a little looser when I hear the fine sizzle of meat being cooked to daddly perfection. So maybe you could lend me a hand, kiddo? Save this grill master from different disasters. Manic Pixie Dream Grill. Problems keep spawning on this terrible grill. Hold the correct tool over problem for two seconds to fix it. Watch out for special problems and obstacles. Ooh, cutscene. Wow. Oh. Uh. I, I understand now. I understand why there's problems. Oh, do I have to open it? Oh. There we go. Okay. That's pretty easy. Oh, uh, we need the extinguisher. There we go. Okay, I think we're getting the hang of this. I'm going to turn up the gas a bit. See if we can really get cooking. I'd prefer it if you didn't do that. Hey. How do I... Wait. Okay, hang on. Wait, what is he doing? Tony, what are you doing? Oh, oh my god. Okay, hang on. Everybody, everybody relax. Everybody calm down. Everybody calm down. That's not a real fire. I just put this out. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Where's the fire? That counts? What? Just a little more and I think we'll have this thing at temp. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, great. Okay, I, I do like how we can just drop the... Marty time? Marty, get out of the way. Jeez. Oh my god, that's a big fire. How does that even happen? How? Baby, I don't understand it. My heart can't take this damage, but we can take the win! Amazing. Ain't she a beaut? Totally not terrifying at all with the sheer amount of things going on or the little man in overalls living inside. <laughs> Thanks for helping me out today, kiddo. About the event, I can't say too much, but I gotta brag about the balloons I got for it. My boy Patches loves those colorful sacks of air. Probably why he loves his old man here so much, too. Ha 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 ha. My body is aging rapidly. No one can stop the forward cycle of time. See you tonight, kiddo. It's sharp. Don't be late. I had a lot of high expectations for Tony going into that interaction, and I can just say I was not disappointed in the slightest. Aw, oh, you look so cool. I want to talk to you. <gasps> Good old Clancy. We can finally talk to the conductor. Hello? Someone knocking? You can come inside. Oh my god, dude. I, we see this guy in the opening animation. I've been waiting to meet him for so long. Oh, hello there. I don't usually get visitors in the control room like this. It's actually quite nice to have some company besides the various rodents ardently trying to eat my feet and ankles. Oh, I like this guy. I like his music too. Whom star are you? Call me Clancy. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Unless you're in here to rob me, in which case I'd ask you to kindly not take the dollar I have in my breast pocket. That's for my afternoon old man licorice snack. Oh, I love Clancy so much already. You're so wholesome. How do you know, Pat? Pat, my grandson? Funny fellow, that. Always wearing his little hat and bandana. Makes him really recognizable, though. You know, like for marketing and such. Tip of the nose, huh? What do you know about the event? Now, hold on. Even an old man with my memory remembers he's not supposed to be spilling the beans. My wife, Rue, told me quite clearly that I'd be in the doghouse if I did. And it's really uncomfortable out there and full of dogs. Oh, say so they do have dogs in this world as well. Okay. I say I could use a young and like use help with a little problem I'm having. Maybe you could do me a favor. I love this animation of him stroking his beard. I was going through my trolley instruction manuals. I found a few flyers were torn up from the last time Rue put me in the doghouse. I'd like to restore them, but the pieces could be all over town now by gum. Since you're already snooping around for Patrick, could you keep an eye out for trolley manual pieces as well? Interesting. Assembled the pieces before the train ceases. A streetcar maimed his flyer click and drag the puzzle pieces to form a full picture don't have all the pieces they're scattered throughout Algon, new york city oh so this is what we use the puzzle pieces for oh sick oh wait we do have enough for this whole thing oh okay welcome to the trolley oh i thought that was a frog oh i didn't read the whole thing hey now that looks real nice there's still some work to be done though click that arrow if you want to move on to the next flyer you can always click back to see the previous one if the spirit moves you maybe you can do something with this as well it doesn't go with any of my flyers 
there's another location. So in the previous playthrough, in the first playthrough, we got a, a mysterious text from an unknown individual who said they, they had good, valuable information for us and that we can meet up with them at some point. I couldn't figure out how to meet up with them. Maybe that's what we need though right now is this 9th Street thing. Okay, and this is in one of my new favorite areas apparently. This is crazy. What is this? To my new friend. Sometimes it's really hard for me to get my thoughts out through my snoot rather than on paper as I'm sure you've already noticed. I really appreciate you taking the time to read this and the text I sent you too. So this is the this is the character I was just talking about who was texting us. I know it must have seemed out of the blue to get them. Truthfully, I was just so lonely when I saw your number on a scrap of newspaper behind the cans here that I dialed, but all the information had been torn away. I don't know who you are, but I guess that's fair since you don't know who I am either. Wait, why was our number on a flyer? Was it because we we're like a private or a private eye? I guess that's why. The thing is, I've not tried to w talk to anyone else for such a long time. Not since Sarah passed away, really. She was all I had in the world and all I needed too. Later, alligator's getting deep. It's funny how sometimes you have everything, and then in an instant, things change. And everything is different. Everything is sure different now. Without Sarah. I spent a lot of time not moving forward, actually. But talking to you today, telling you things about the city, it really made me feel like I could try to. Like if I went out in the sun, it would still be there, even if Sarah won't be. The kites would still fly with colorful tails, alligator Chinatown would still smell like baking chestnuts, and even the river would still be flowing, ever forward. Just like time, and just like me. Thank you for not pushing a stranger like me away when I reached out. It meant more to me than you might ever know. Wishing you the best. Your friendly city guide, Danny. Did we ever meet a Danny? That's awesome. Okay, cool. And we have this whole new mini area. Let's see what we can find. Okay, I want to know about you. Gary the Nose. Hey, buddy. You want to see something interesting? Oh, God, the perspective switch. You look like an alligator of good taste. I can tell just by the very visible expression you're giving off. A gator of high caliber, of luxury if you can afford. I may have just what you're looking for, my friend. You see this coat here? Nice, right? Got it at the Creeps Warehouse semi-annual sale. I have some interesting wares inside it, as well as my bus pass. Which is less interesting, but has a fun puffy sticker of a hot dog on it. But yes, my wares. Things you've never seen. Things you may never see again. I don't know what this is that he's doing, but I love it. I'm here for it. He's doing a little samba. Things you'll wish you could see again, but can't because I'm busy doing laundry or watching TV shows about superheroes. You may be wondering, is he wearing clothes under there? And the answer to that is uh, sort of, but that's besides the point. You better be. I'm, I'm a family-friendly streamer. Whom's to are you? Besides the nose. Let's just call me Gary for now, yeah? Good old Gary. Trustworthy Gary. Gary ain't never heard a fly. Pat? Pat the alligator? Yeah, I know him. We ain't family or nothing, but we took a pottery class together at the YACA. Tell us about the event. Why, do you, why would you know about the event? Of course Gary knows about the event. Of course he does. Gary knows about everything going down in Alligator New York City. But Gary ain't no squealer. If you want info, you're gonna have to do a little something something for me. Let's do it. I can't wait to see what you want. It's gonna be something stupid. I love it. So, uh, would you look at my paintings? Yes, I love art. Of course I'll look at them. I'm trying to get into art college. I've been practicing on my own, copying the old Gator Masters, but I just can't seem to get it quite right. If I show you the real painting in my forgery, could you point out what I got wrong? It literally is a crime. My novice is seeking constructive critiquing. Artist's Alley. Ally. When you spot a difference, click on it. But if you get three wrong, my feelings are really going to be hurt. Awfully specific. This is the original? Okay. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, I like how you also have codes on. Thank you for doing that. I see this. There we go. Okay, that's one thing. There has to be like an easier one that I'm like missing. Oh, it's the kids on the bottom. Right there, perfect. Okay, great. Oh, what about that purple flower? That purple flower is not there. I feel like it has to do something with the ladies. Or the lady. Is something about her different? Oh, she's looking forward. Wait, is there a kid swimming in the... No, there's not. Wait. I think his eye is different. No, that's not it. Dang it. Okay, I gotta take it nice and slow. I feel... Oh, it's her teeth. It's her teeth. She had one more tooth. Yes. Yes, or two more teeth. Yes, let's go. Amazing, you have the eye of a true artist. But that was my... Oh, no, there's another... But that was my earlier work. Can you spot the differences in during Gary's triptych period? Oh boy. These are really funny. Um, I think it's the the chimney. It's the chimney. Yeah, he's still committing a crime. He still he has the originals on him. Okay, so wait, is there somebody in the mirror? Nope. 
in the glass. I noticed that. Okay. Oh, it's uh, the chimney is different as well. I, I wasn't even looking for that one. What about the right side painting? There has to be something different. Actually, that'd be a really cool twist if that was like something that wasn't different, but I already noticed that there's something missing right there. Wait, is the pouch different? No, I thought the pouch was a different color. What about the flowers? Oh wait, the flowers are different. Now it's actually gotten harder that there, that there's three paintings. Because now I have to really look. Let me know if you guys see it. I'm down, I'm down for some advice. It's the candle. You're right. Good eye. Incredible. Are you ready to see my newest piece? Thank you for that one. Nice. Good call. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, this one's... I really like this one. This one's pretty sick. Okay, there's a heart. That's the first one, obviously. Um, I like how you added a heart, though. That's cute. I'm assuming this is the last painting. Also, there's eyes. Okay, it has to be the alligators, right? It's the alligators. Their face is different. There's two more. I feel like it has something to do with the guy on the left. I feel like there's something... Oh, wait. I think I just saw a difference. Yeah, it's the... I knew it. There we go. Okay, cool. I saw something different on the sash. No, it's the same. I was going to say the grass, like, right here looked a little bit different. I feel like... Wait, what about the scroll? Is the scroll different at all? The green pants are plaid? You're right. Good eye. I looked at the pants. Oh, my God. Space Boyfriend's got an eye for this. It's a good thing that wasn't timed. Gary, that was great. I enjoyed that one. Oh, my God. He's got this paint ready. Wow, thank you for all the feedback. I can't wait to incorporate it into my next painting series. Oh, oh, right, right. The event. Truthfully, it's my first professional gig. Drawing the invitation and all. Oh, he drew the invitation. I like that. Pat's Ma even paid me 10 whole dollars for it. Oh my god, this is so wholesome. Which is $5 higher than my listed online commission prices. Gary's really moving up in the world. Oh my god, Gary. How can you not love this guy? Anyway, friend, looks like I'll be seeing you tonight. Until then. Watch yourself. I guess we can go back here next time. Bing, bada, boom. What a cliffhanger. What could be in the door in the subway on Street 9 or 9th Street? We're going to have to find out next time. Thank you.